Hi, in this video I'll show you how to have a sum or total of a list of values only when uh, everything is complete. So let's say for example we have a, a range of data and this is basically uh, expenses for a month. Now what we can do is we could use the sum function uh, equals sum oops, equals sum open tab to open the parentheses and I can just select this range here and then close parentheses and enter and we have our sum of uh, $3,500. Now if I didn't know my utilities uh, for that month yet uh, I would still have a running total here but let's say for example I didn't want to have that uh, show up until uh, the values any of the values were all entered. Uh, basically what you can do is you can have an if function and an and function to, to uh, create this. So I'm going to go down here and show you how this works. So basically it's going to be a simple formula and it's going to be a using the if function and the if function and the and function. So I'm going to type if and what I'm going to do is I select if this particular range is uh, greater than zero so basically um, any of the values are there and then I'm going to go ahead and type a comma. Uh, if any of those values are greater than one then I want to go ahead and uh, sum sum everything here, right? Uh, if it's not, then just blank. It's going to be blank. This total row is going to be blank, right? Uh, I, what I forgot to do is I need to also uh, wrap this particular uh, logical uh, statement here in an and function, right? And and then open parentheses. Let me go ahead and see if all my parentheses are uh, complete. We have a red here. We have a red here. We have a dark parentheses here. So it should match. So I'll go ahead and press enter. Whoops, I forgot to do one thing because uh, this is an array function because we're looking at a range of cells that are performing uh, the calculation within the particular function or formula here. So well, what I need to do is press control shift enter and that's an array function. Oh, whoops, I also forgot, I also uh, made this B14 should be B13. So I'll go ahead and press control shift enter and now you notice that basically uh, it's an empty value here and that's because this particular function uh, sees that there is an empty space here. So if I enter uh, 100 here and press enter now you notice that that cell gets filled up. Well how does this particular function actually work? Well let me go into the mechanics of what this function is doing. So what's happening here is it's going to look at cell B10 to B13, uh, this range of data. Let me go ahead and press F9 to show you what's happening. So it's going to bring back an array and basically it's going to bring back those list of values within that range, 100, 300, 100, and 200. And it's going to, it's going to ask if it's greater than zero. So let me go ahead and press Control Z to undo that F9. And now when I select this particular uh, por part of the formula and press F9 to execute that por particular portion, it's going to bring back a bunch of trues. Um, trues. Uh, let me go ahead and just uh, press Control Z to undo that and just do something here. Let me go ahead and delete. Press Escape. Let me go ahead and delete this. Right. So we had it as it was in the beginning. Now let me go ahead and just select this again and then press F9 and now you see it's a, it's false because what it was asking earlier is those range of values uh, is that uh, greater than zero that's true the second value is that greater than zero that's true is that second value greater than zero and that's false because it's not greater than zero because it's basically zero or it's zero and so that brings back a false and the third one is true because there's a value in there and it's and it's bringing that so what's happening here is now these this list this true true false true it's being wrapped in an and function. So what the and function is doing is it's a logical function. It's it's looking to see if all of these are true. And if all of these are true, so what this if function does is it's going to ask this particular uh, this criteria here. Let me go and press Control Z to undo that. So if I go here. What the if function does is it's looking at that logical test. It's looking at the AND function and those uh, list of trues or falses. If they're all true, it's going to go to this uh, second argument here and says, well, the, everything's true, so I'm going to perform the second argument, which is this sum function. It's going to sum B10 uh, to B13. Now, if it's not true, 
it's going to uh, execute this argument, which is nothing, these two quotes, uh, nothing in, in these two quotes. So as you see, all saw earlier, if there's nothing in here, this becomes true, this is true, this is false, this is true. So this and function is looking for all trues. So there is one false there, so basically it's going to bring back, uh, it's going to look at that logical test and say, oh, it's false. So it's going to execute this third argument here, which is this blank. If we had these all true, let me go ahead and escape to get out of that. If we had a value in here, right, and now if we go back into the formula here, let me go back into the formula here. If uh, these are all true, b10 to b13, they're greater than zero, those four are true. And this AND function is looking to see if everything in uh, the parentheses is true. That's that's right. That's valid. And so what it's going to do is that logical test uh, resulted in the true. And this is the value of true, which is summing up uh, B10 to B13. Let me go and press escape to get out of that. So that's what it's doing with this particular formula. So if you wanted to have a, an example where uh, you only wanted to um, total make have a total execute when everything else is filled out, this particular array function is what you can use. So you notice that there, there's, a, there's a curly brackets in there, and that's just because that this is an array function because we have a range of cells that are being tested for this logical um, this logical test, and we have to use the keyboard combination Control Shift Enter in order to execute this particular formula. So there's your way of summing or creating a total only when all the uh, records have a value in that particular cell where it needs to be totaled. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.